I, let me tell, let, let me ask you why why everything gotta have a, a day one update? Why like every single game I have bought so far on the PS4 has had a day one update? You would think. <laughs> With the games that have been released thus far, which are basically 90% re-releases, they would have it, they would have the formula down to not have to do a day one update, but, so like, this is, next week is my spring break, so this week I should be, uh, acting as a responsible young adult, the, the, the uh, very goody two-shoes boy that I am, and studying, preparing so I can ace these midterms, ensure my future, and of course, I don't wanna, I don't, you can't make me, I don't wanna do that, I want to play some video games, but apparently the world is conspiring to prevent that, we have, so obviously, like I said, we're starting this a day and a half after I should have gotten the game if Amazon got they shit together, but they didn't, and so, I got the game a day and a half late, and then I throw it in, and I'm all ready to go, ready to get going, and no, we gotta install the game, we gotta update the game. <sighs> I mean, granted, I've heard that this game does have its issues, there are some frame rate issues, which is just a grand prospect, because we have such fond memories, right, of Blight Town and Dark Souls, and the ruins of Isolith. I can't really, there weren't really any standout moments in Dark Souls 2 of, like, significant frame rate problems. None that I can... Certainly none that were on the level of Isolith or Blight Town. Actually, I guess it wasn't really... Was I can't even remember. Was the swamp underneath Blight Town, was that still considered Blight Town? I can't even remember. It's been so long since I've been through there. But I, I, just, I just remember the horror of the experience, not what the experience was called. Um... But yeah, so, like, this is... This is my exciting, hyped up, I'm so amped up, ready to go, and this happens. And as you can see, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor wants to update itself too. I don't know why, like the last update file, I, as you can see, I paused that bad boy because the last time Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor tried to update, I just noticed they're both trademarked. <laughs> Middle Earth trademark, Shadow of Mordor trademark. They should just like trademark everything. Middle trademark, Earth trademark, Shadow trademark. They should even trademark the colon right there. Why not? Go all in. Pull some Candy Crush stuff. <laughs> that's a, oh, that's an entirely other thing to make fun of. But um, yeah, it just it sucks so much when like now you now these these days you get a game you don't just throw it in and play it now. Now it's like you get home you hyped up you amped up to play it. You turn your console on you throw the disc in. Updating, installing, and then you actually get into the game installing trophy data. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. The hype gets an hour and a half to die away before I finally get to play the stupid game. So anyway, I'll see you when this is actually done and when I can actually start playing the game.